Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Monday the 29th of October where I'll just look at one of our many signals in our stock scanner membership. In our members area, our members get to download potential short and long fifth wave trades on the 60 minute daily and the weekly time frame. We'll look at longs today, futures pointing upwards uh, today on this Monday during the European session. So we could uh, in fact uh, see a bit of a bullish day today after Friday's big bad day. Um, so down, simply in our members area for long fifth wave trades, we click on the image and download the spreadsheet each day. Uh, the spreadsheet for today looks something like this. Not too many on the 60 minute. This is what I've gone for. There's quite a few more on the daily and on the weekly, but I've gone for the 60 minute time frame today because <clears throat> I don't even know if today is going to be a one day wonder. So let's have a look at uh, the chart. I've chosen AMT, American Tower Core, on the 60 minute time frame. So I'm using the Think or Swim version of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. It's also available for multi charts. Ninja Trader and TradeStation. So uh, first of all, the isolation of the wave count is pretty simple. We got these lows um, earlier on um, in October, and since then we've had a really good intraday bullish move up there. And on Friday we pulled back against there. So this is what we're interested in right now. This wave four. So let's have a closer look at that and what sort of filters we uh, put in place to give us those uh, scanner membership signals. So first of all, we look at this um, pullback against the main trend. And this is uh, a wave four and Elliott wave sequence. And this is the most important wave. It needs to find support in one of our probability zones. So far, you can see it's found support in the green zone. So that gives it an 85% probability. It's going to go on make that new wave five high into our automated target zone up here around about $156 top end of that um, target zone. The next thing is the the behavior of that wave four. So we'd look for a pullback on our 535 oscillator, which is the top of the three sub charts here. And as you can see here, the pullbacks between 90 and 140 uh, percent, which is good. Then we've got the stochastic. Now, this bullish move has had some pullbacks and then gone back up again. So you see our false breakout bar is further to the left. We didn't get one on this last bit of the move here, uh, but it's still a good move. We still pulled back. Every time we pull back, we seem to be going in the direction of the main trend. Also, I'm using the uh, our multiple time frame dot cloud here uh, at the bottom. Uh, and this denotes a really strong bullish trend on a lot higher time frames here uh, weekly, um, the, the four day, three day, the two day, and the daily here. So, this is the hourly time frame we're looking at the chart, but our multiple time frames are showing some really good, strong bullish moves here. Pulls back, but then goes again. So, uh, overall, looking like a high probability long move, especially with the bullish futures today. So, what we've got to look for really is an entry. Now, because we had the one day pullback and we closed near the lows, we need to be reasonably conservative, but we cannot wait for our six four moving average high to be crossed in the first couple of hours. You know, if we get through our entry at 151.45 in hour three, that's fine. But for a more aggressive stance, where I've just put a regression trend channel on here, and it shows us that our entry for the first hour is out of that regression trend channel, also above the highs of all of these pivots just here after that first hour at these attempts to move higher that failed. So our entry is 151.45, stop loss just below the wave four, around about 148.66. And then the target's around about $156 to the top end of our automated target zone there. So risk reward of one to uh, 1.6, so decent risk reward. We had that pullback. We've had one or two day pullbacks before on this, and then we've gone forward again. So we're looking for the long on AMT on the 60 minute time frame. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.